guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to tell you all how to prepare yourself for hostel guys now exams are over almost all exams are over like mst ct jee neat now many students who have got good marks plan to study outside their native city but so most of them either live in hostels or in pg okay, paying guests but most of them including i prefer hostel so hostel life is quite different from your normal home life means uh, you are going to stay with your friends instead of your parents but many other things also determine the difference so in this video i'm going to tell you all how to prepare yourself for hostel so the first thing is you need to get your belongings as much as possible and with regards to basic things like food clothing uh, toiletries personal hygiene products etc get more than enough a little more than enough is actually beneficial in case there are more days for you to stay in the college and uh, with regards to things you need to get you need to get stationeries like a uh, little more books and pencils personal hygiene products like soap face wash or uh, uh, sanitary napkins or makeup no need to get too much makeup uh, then clothes get 5 to 6 normal casual clothes to wear outside including college then uh, 3 to 4 clothes for home and staying in the hostel and some extra clothes like uh, for traditional events so two to three clothes for traditional two clothes for a prom event or something like that or little crop tops or skirts like thing etc so you need to get adequate amount of stuff and beforehand only prepare things like what you need cosmetics or stationery or toiletries etc anything even food second thing is living now this is quite difficult for me since i haven't have a nice very good street sense and uh, hence i need to learn it a lot and i'm learning still so uh, you need to have good communication learn good communication skills from a family uh, public speaking skills and also learn how to cross roads and uh, how to behave publicly walking or shopping etc learn those skills by so the third thing is studying which is second most important to hostel living now in hostel there will be plenty of distractions like social media use and partying or going to the cafes or malls you need to set boundaries that after this time or during exam season i can't go after this this time or i can't go at all so you need to learn to set boundaries for yourself maintain a journal keep it a secret and also you can write your feelings there and you can try set your boundaries your tips there it's quite important and uh, now i started studying books regarding my first year syllabus so you need to learn to study the basics from now on and since the time is quite short now so you need to study subjects like this or that which are quite important to the first year and most of them there will be almost 12th standard syllabus so master the basics and also with studying uh, you don't need to study heavily like how we did during the neat je days but you need to get first first class yeah you need to get first class otherwise you won't get proper placement or something get shit now um, that's why you need to learn to study set some time you can study for 5 to 6 hours do projects do extra curricular co curricular activities and also study pay attention to all the classes attend almost all the classes guys it's very important 
this book is important for hostel life guys you need to learn to set boundaries and live properly books are also quite excellent to learn about hostel life and how the professional college life really is fourth thing is friendship and so yes friendship is quite easy then you get lifelong friends those friends are quite better than the ones you got during your school days and hence you can enjoy a lot but remember to set boundaries and guys it's quite important to set boundaries so keep the friendships with good people you need to have good relations with your hostel mates guys and with regards to romance please don't date during these 4 or 5 years these 4 or 5 years are for yourself you need to learn to focus on yourself and not on others you need to be self seeking here and you need to learn to fulfill your dreams and chase your dreams don't ruin yourself or do some shit stuff please guys you have full life for to do that fifth activities please participate in as much activities as you should do but don't overburden yourself two activities which will mostly help you to build your overall skills like motor skills or your syllabus or your talents like dancing or singing have a proper routine and write it in your journal or set a time table you can put it on your desk also and be punctual learn these skills like punctuality public speaking skills you must also focus on your mental health it is very important most important thing you can do even more important than studies is your mental health and uh, also learn to take care of yourself practice self care by setting boundaries enjoying your life focusing on yourself and also rejuvenating and refreshing yourself take breaks sometimes go outside most probably go outside with your friends and uh, enjoy in the cafes or in the malls for hobbies you can sing you can read good books i am reading this book atomic habits is a quite good book i strongly recommend this book for you all to read you guys for watching this video make sure you listen and believe these tips thanks